Today's video comes to us from Joseph Martinez Cop Watch. The video shows an altercation between a police officer and Mr. Joseph in a parking lot outside of a Walmart store. Mr. Joseph, who is filming the interaction on his phone, can be heard asking the officer for their name and badge number, as well as questioning the officer's reason for stopping him. The officer can be heard stating that they received a call from Walmart about an uncooperative reporting party who had been verbally fighting with security. Mr. Joseph, who had done nothing wrong, can be heard repeatedly asking the officer for a reasonable, articulable suspicion of a crime and invoking his Fourth and Fifth Amendment rights to be secure in his papers and to remain silent, respectively. The officer can be heard telling Mr. Joseph that they are not required to identify themselves as part of department policy and that he's being detained. The video has sparked a heated debate online, with some praising Mr. Joseph for standing up for their rights and others criticizing his attitude and behavior towards the officer. The incident has sparked a conversation about the violation of Fourth Amendment rights. The Fourth Amendment of the United States Constitution protects citizens from unreasonable searches and seizures and requires that law enforcement officers have a reasonable suspicion of a crime before detaining a citizen, conducting a search, or making an arrest. In this case, Mr. Joseph was not suspected of any crime and had not committed any wrongdoing. Many citizens have taken to social media to express their concern about the increasing number of cases where police officers have violated the Fourth Amendment. Many are calling for a more thorough review of police practices and better training for officers on how to handle encounters with citizens. This incident serves as a reminder that all citizens have the right to protect their Fourth Amendment rights and should not be afraid to assert them when confronted by law enforcement. It is crucial that we hold our law enforcement officers accountable and ensure that they are trained to respect the rights of all citizens. What do you think about the actions of the officer? Let me know in the comments. And be sure to give this video a huge thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more videos. Go over to his channel and appreciate him for standing up for our rights. Links in the description. Excuse me? What do you mean, what's going on, first of all? I'm not injured at the moment, as far as I know. I need to see a doctor if I, you know, to know if I'm injured. Um, am I allowed to? Am I under arrest? You're on camera, by the way. Am I under arrest? No. I just got called. Name and badge number, please. Name and badge number, please. Name and badge number, please. You'll that I have a right to your name and badge number. It's no, department I'm policy. My I will okay. answer my. I, just I will answer down. your question. We're on our way to Walmart. Okay, we're on our way to Walmart because of a mm -hmm. disturbance. Yes. Okay. So then someone I'm just aware. said, "Hey, these people might be involved." So I don't know what's going on. I wanted to make sure you're safe. Okay? I'm safe. Okay. Name and badge number, please. I'll give that to you. Name and badge number, please. Uh, Name and badge number, please, ma'am. You'll get that in a moment. I have a right to it. Okay. It's department policy to identify. Yeah, and I'm not done with my investigation, sir. It doesn't mean you don't have to identify. Yeah, how about you identify you? I'm Officer Rio. I have a First Amendment right to be to uh, be filming. I have a Fourth Amendment right to be secure in my papers and okay. not to so identify you. you don't want to give me your information then? Not unless you suspect me of committing a crime, in which case I would like to know what is I'm, your... I'm giving you. I'm 198 what is your, Officer Thank you. I explained to okay. you that you got a call to Walmart. But what gives you a reasonable, disturbance. articulable suspicion of okay. a... Okay, can you please keep your hands out of your pocket, Am I detained, ma'am? Keep your hands out am of your pocket, sir. Am I detained? Am I detained? Yes, actually you are. Okay, okay. Can, I, can I ask what, what crime you suspect me of committing? I'm not going to get in this battle Is a disturbance sir? a suspicion? Do you need any help? Do you need any help? No, I don't. Okay. No, I don't Did need you your help. Me, uh, Walmart. I don't need to answer your questions. Okay. I'm asking I'm you a simple question. Is a disturbance a felony or misdemeanor? Yeah, actually it can be. There's varying states. Okay, tell there's me what felony, state would be a felony. There's felony, there's felony and there's misdemeanor. Tell me what state would we be just, felony. We just got a call of a potential incident uh -huh. over there. I'm just asking a simple question. Because you're being very aggressive. Incident. You showed up being, being very... Yeah, you did. Sir. You told me to sit down. When you yeah, showed up, you told me to sit you, down. Okay. Name and badge number, sir. Name and badge number, please. My name is Officer Hernandez. My badge number is 294. Is there anything else I going to be out with? Thank you very, very much, cool. sir. Are you the individual that we were that, uh, Walmart called about? Um, is there first of Walmart called yes. you? Um, what first did you of all, um, no, they they flagged me down and said they were leaving Walmart and whatever altercation had occurred 
there. So when I asked him, I needed to make sure... You told me to sit down first, lady. Okay. You're right. And it's officer, sir. Okay? It's also lady. And then I asked you to keep your hands out of your pocket. Okay? Do I have? Do I not have a right to put them in my pocket? Actually, no. Not when we are coming from a call of a potentially violent act, sir. Of a potential violent act? That means because you pulled up to me, you have a right to tell me to put my, I can't put my hands in my pocket, and I have to sit down on the ground. So, here's the thing, is we got a call to Walmart saying that there was an uncooperative uh, reporting party that said that their hand was cut and was fighting with security. Fighting with security? Verbally fight, fighting, or whatever it may be, that's what I'm saying. So, did you, is, well, is that you? Based, you on the, based on the way I was approached, I choose to invoke my fourth amendment right to, uh, remi our fifth amendment right to remain silent. Fifth Amendment right to remain silent. I'm a little agitated. She came up to me very aggressively, very aggressively, jumped out very aggressively, almost as if she wanted to come right at me and assault me. And then she tells me to sit down. Well, I have it on camera, sir. Uh, is, do you have a reasonable, articulable suspicion of a crime to uh, expect me to identify and violate my? All I'm asking is the reasonable, articulable suspicion of a crime. What crime? What crime? I would have been much more cooperative if you weren't very aggressive with me when you pulled up. Okay. Did I not? Did I not pull over? Actually, when I pulled up, I didn't. I was trying to give the address to the location, sir. I didn't know any of that. All I know, you came up very aggressive to me. Okay. That changes how I feel about the situation now. Now I want to invoke my rights because I feel like you're immediately not on my side. You're immediately not even willing to hear anything I'm saying. Okay. I'm just immediately a criminal in your eyes. Not you pulled up without identifying me at all, just like. This dude's guilty. I, sorry, you felt I no. thought I was innocent until proven guilty. I, All of a sudden, I'm sitting down on the ground with an aggressive officer getting right okay, in my face. I'm, sorry, I'm an officer. Right. I don't have to identify you right now. It's not department policy to identify when asked. It's department policy to identify after the whole event is over, ma'am, when I'm not filming you with the camera. No, that's not the case. Okay. That is not department policy. I'm, I'm not going to argue with you. Very if good you at what I do in this. If you have more information you'd like to share, I'm, I'm open to hear absolutely not respectful whatsoever of a person's constitutional rights. I have to identify because you don't have re reasonable articulable suspicion of a crime. You have to at least tell me what the crime is. What is the crime? But what is the crime that gives you the right to force me to identify? See, my Fourth Amendment right is, is to be secure in my papers. All I know is I'm being aggressively uh, spoken to like right off the bat without you knowing anything you just came right at me I'm, I'm wondering where this is it's it's coming close to seven minutes and 29 seconds and 15 minutes is the maximum amount of time you can detain someone in even a traffic stop uh, without reasonable articulable suspicion of a crime wh where it's beyond violating my constitutional rights man I really don't want to answer questions to you at all now because you made me feel... I really don't want to answer questions to you at all now because you make me feel uncomfortable and you make me feel like a victim of the of the police department. A victim, sir? You make me feel like a victim of the police department at the moment. Okay. Okay.